guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jacqueline the Holistic Siren bringing you healing to your physical, emotional, and spiritual bodies. So as you see in the title, this is going to be our health prediction reading for the full moon in Virgo. So this is the last full moon in the astrological calendar. So this is a really great time to wrap up or release anything that no longer serves you, especially in the material plane um, or on the earthly plane because Virgo is an earth sign, okay? Um, Virgo also focuses on the physical body. So this full moon, you may feel called to release any um, bad habits uh, that are aligned or any bad habits that are affecting your the health of your physical body negatively, okay? So I'm gonna hop right into it. Um, I just wanna let you know I am finally accepting one-on-one uh, -on -one readings. So um, if you guys would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can send me an email to theholisticsiren at gmail.com and uh, my email will be in the description box for you guys below, okay? To get your own personalized health prediction reading, to see what's going on with your emotional, physical, and spiritual bodies, to see um, what uh, self-care practices you need to do, uh, what supplements you may need to take, how to change your diet accordingly. Um, so we're really merging the spiritual, emotional, and the physical so you have well-rounded, thriving health, okay? So I'm going to hop right into it. Um, first, we're going to see what chakras really need the most attention. Now, Virgo governs the throat chakra, okay, right here. That is your fifth chakra. Um, so you guys may be seeing the number five a lot, 555. Five, five. Um, me personally, I've been seeing on the clock like 155, 255, 455. I, uh, 444 might be another number because there's a lot of heart chakra activations and your heart chakra is your fourth chakra. Um, but with the throat chakra, that is you communicating how you feel, communicating your truth, even communicating to yourself, like inner truths. It doesn't always have to be um, like vocal expression. It can be internal expression, okay? Next, uh, after that, we're gonna hop into self-care. So we're gonna see what forms of self-care would be beneficial during this full moon. Now you, should, you can feel the energy of the full moon three days before and three days after. The full moon is on the 27th, which is Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. So three days after Saturday, you can still work with the energy of the full moon and take uh, the information you gather from this reading um, and use it to improve your health and your self-care. All right, then we're gonna see what the full moon in Virgo is calling you to release and let go. Full moons are all about letting go and releasing of shit that does not serve you. It's things that are holding you back from moving to the next level, from leveling up, from becoming, um, the better version of you, okay? And then last but not least, we're going to see what healing essential oils and or herbs um, you are called to use for the full moon as well. All right, so I'm gonna hop right into it, y'all. God Source Universe, what chakras need the most attention during the full moon? What chakras need the most attention during the full moon in Virgo? I always ask my spirit team to flip cards over completely. There's no half-assing in these readings. Ooh. There we go. Okay. All right, that's too many. Give me one or two more. One or two more completely flipped over, please. might be a lot of stuff you guys don't want to release um, or that these are like things that were really hard or are really hard for you to accept. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I was feeling a lot of orange. Like I was seeing a lot of the color orange. What I'm drinking, the can is orange. Um, wow. All right. So orange is heavy sacral um, sacral chakra. Okay. So your sacral chakra 
is your creative epicenter. It's where you birth new projects, new ideas. It's where you develop your sexuality, your sensuality, and how you express it to the world, okay? Um, and also how you feel in your own body, okay? So we have two sacral chakra cards. Um, so the first is desires. So you can see the woman, she's clearly underwater. She's reaching for something. It's almost like it's just out of reach. Like, I feel like you guys, like what you are, the health changes you want to make are like just within reach, but it almost feels like you're drowning. Like they're like, they're right there, but it's just like, you can't, like, it's hard for you to grasp it. You know, like you're almost waiting it for, for it to come to you because you're falling back. Like you're, I feel like you, some of you guys are on the precipice of like giving up. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't give up. Your health is so worth that, uh, that work and that effort, you guys. Okay. Um, I feel like it's on because she's looking up. I feel like she's, she's looking like into my soul. So it's almost like you guys are looking for, um, like support. Um, and the sacral chakra is also uh, where your divine feminine is located. So you guys could be looking for support through like a female friend, um, a mother, a grandmother, an aunt, a female cousin, um, like a female figure in your life, but they're not helping you. They actually could be enabling you. Um, and that's why you feel like you're drowning because you're, it's like they're telling you like what you want to hear, like that they'll help you. But they're really not going to help you. Like they're stuck in their ways. They're not ready to change and level up. And that's not your problem. Like you need to focus on yourself. So yeah. So the card itself says goals, passion, craving, and fulfillment. Okay. So the goals you have, like stick with them, you guys follow them with, with passion. Okay. Those goals that you set are going to fulfill you so much. They are going to fill your heart on the bottom of the deck. We have emotional balance. This card is green. Um, green is heart chakra. What did I say earlier? Like lots of heart chakra activations. Um, and the cup is full. Okay. And there's a rainbow. So you've heard the saying, you can't, you can't pour from an empty cup. You following your goals, your aspirations, what you're passionate about with regard to your body, um, that is going to fill your cup back up, okay? It's going to lead to stability, harmony, peace, fluidity. And because this, this is a health, uh, this is a health related channel, <laughs> third chakra, hello. Um, fluidity to me means like energy flowing in the body like really, really well. And rainbow to me signifies Reiki. And Reiki is all about having, um, proper energy flow, like healthy energy flow through all your chakras. Um, so you guys going after your goals will lead to a lot of fulfillment. Don't worry. You don't need anyone else. Like you are, you are fine doing this on your own. Um, the next card we had is emotions. So the card itself says feelings, expression, moods, and balance. So I feel like this situation is making you feel like this. Like you don't know which way to go. Um, it's a little confusing. You're like, should I, should I like stay where I am? Like I, I, you know, it's a safer route. Like I've been doing this for so long, even though it's not really helping my body that much. Like I'm, it's familiar. Like I'm comfortable in, in that, but you're really not. You're, it's like your ego is trying, it's 440 on the clock, by the way, 44. What did I say? Um, it's almost like you're like, you're, like your higher self or your intuition is battling your ego. Like your mood, your mood may have been all over the place. We are also in Pisces season along with a full moon. So Pisces is a very watery sign, very deep introspective. You guys can check out my uh, other video. I did do a full video on Pisces season. If you want to check out like what to expect because Pisces season is a couple weeks. Um, but I feel like you guys are going to find emotional balance. Like you're going to be able to look ahead. You're, you see, you're going to see the bigger picture. This full moon really is going to help you guys release like the people, places, things, foods, cravings, um, that don't serve your body anymore. Like you're going to be able to move past it if you leverage the energy of the full moon. Okay. Um, and you may feel like unbalanced right now, like 
even in your physical body, I feel like you guys like leaning to one side, like the dominant side, um, because like the sacral chakra is divine feminine, I feel like you guys are leaning more on your right because the right is divine masculine. I, I feel like you haven't been paying enough attention to the divine feminine, okay, to the sacral chakra, to your creative epicenter, okay? Um, I'm also getting some... Um, like hormonal fluctuations, uh, like the health changes that you want to make maybe to help, um, hormonal fluctuations that you're experiencing. Like, um, I'm hearing like high testosterone, even for women, like you guys could have like low estrogen, high testosterone, and that's causing some issues with your period, or you may not, you may have lost your period. Um, yeah, it's like, like nothing, like it's almost like a lack of function in the, the sacral chakra, which is where your womb is located or where your reproductive organs are located. Um, I'm not an endocrinologist, but I, like, I feel like guy, like if you guys have been thinking about going to an endocrinologist to get your hormones checked, it's the time to do it. Um, that's just a message for some of you guys. All right. And then again, like I said, emotional balance, like you are going to, your cup is going to be filled. You're going to have like balance. All right. Um, also whenever I see a rainbow coming from a nutrition perspective, because I am an integrative nutritionist, I always tell clients eat the rainbow. There's, it's no coincidence that your chakras are the color of the rainbow along with all the fruits and vegetables on the planet, right? There's a variety that constitute the colors of the rainbow. So I'm hearing like eat the colors of the rainbow. Heart chakra is heavy um, food, whole foods that are green. So like asparagus, green apples, dark leafy greens, asparagus, so on and so forth, but also pink, like pomegranate, um, beet, uh, sorry, pomegranate, stra mm, strawberries, yes, raspberries, yes. Um, grapefruit also, but eat the colors of the rainbow, eat the full spectrum. Okay. Now we're going to see what forms of self care would be most beneficial during this full moon in Virgo. I feel like you guys aren't drinking enough water either. I just got really, really thirsty. Water, broth, and tea are all really good for your throat chakra. So it could be like you just need to activate or, um, yeah, activate the throat chakra by drinking water. Um, again, I keep, like, I don't normally look at the clock. It's 4.44 right now. I think I started this reading at 4.33. So you guys could be seeing 33 as well. Yeah. Okay. So... Um, God's Worth Universe, what forms of self-care do we need to practice during this full moon in Virgo? What forms of self-care should we practice during the full moon in Virgo? I feel like some of you guys watching this don't like to practice self-care or you don't carve time out for it. Start doing that. <laughs> I feel like that's something you guys are going to release. Okay. All right, come on divine spirit team flip cards over make it clear but yeah I feel like a lot of you guys don't like practice it's not that you don't like it it's just you don't prioritize it you're, it's almost like you're saying like I oh, I wish I had the time like I I wish I could like meditate and whatever um you can you 100% can you guys you cannot make this shit I wasn't even looking at the deck. What did I say? You guys can make time to meditate. All right. God source universe is not playing right now. Holy. Wow. Okay. And I saw this on the bottom of the deck before I started, um, shuffling, be still, <laughs> meditate and be still. Hello. And the card number is Four. Okay, you guys. Um, and four signifies heart chakra. So I feel like you guys are going to be opening up your heart chakra. You guys are releasing a lot of like emotional heaviness during this time, during this full moon. Even though Virgo is an earth sign, we still are in Pisces season, which is a very 
deep emotional introspective sign okay so i feel like you guys are going to be letting go of a lot of um a lot of hurt that you have towards yourself um this has been a theme this entire year i feel like a lot of you watching may have fallen off the wagon or like not really committed 100% to your uh, your New Year's resolutions. Um, and now you're like, I'm gonna really do it this time, but it's no longer New Year's. You can do it anytime. It doesn't need to be the new year, like do it now. It's actually the perfect time because Pisces season, we are, so this is the last full moon of the astrological calendar. So we actually are moving into a new, I don't wanna say a new year, but a, um, yeah, a new astrological calendar year, okay? So this is like a New Year's resolution. Oh my God, I feel like you guys are gonna be doing New Year's resolutions, but it's an astro astrological New Year resolution, not like a traditional January 1st New Year's resolution. So you guys, meditate. Um, I don't have much to say on this, except like stop wasting, like stop procrastinating your self-care. Um, you, you have the time. You 100% have the time. I feel like a lot of you guys need to do this for stress management um, and to quiet your mind. I feel like that's why you feel like you don't have the time to meditate is because you're overthinking it. You're like, I have to do this, this, that, and the other thing. Like, no, sit down, look at your schedule. Where can you fit in legit like five or 10 minutes of meditation once or twice a day, morning and evening? Where can you do that? Okay, because I know you can. And then be still. Okay, um, maybe when you're meditating, you want to lay on your yoga mat. Um, if you like working with crystals, um, I would say aquamarine would be my choice or a blue agate. Actually, I put on my blue agate ring for this reading before I obviously started anything. Um, but blue agate aquamarine, lapis lazuli, those are all great for uh, the throat chakra. Um, I feel like that's going to help you a lot too. Like, And with meditation, it, it probably will be easier if you're laying down, you play some music, like um, I'm playing 432 hertz right now, some of the Silfregio frequencies, some of you might want like the um, 963 hertz, um, or you can just uh, YouTube um, throat chakra Silfregio and it'll pop right up. Um, but I'm sure you guys can hear it uh, playing on my TV right now. Um, but yeah, be still and meditate. Um, you guys, the mind is not messing around with y'all. I feel like you guys, like you've been, you know, you've known that you need to do this and you're like, eh. So now we're going to see God's source universe. What do we need to let go of during the full moon in Virgo? What do we need to let go of during the full moon in Virgo? You guys can also write down like any negative like habits that you have with regarding your physical health on um, anything emotionally you want to release on a piece of paper and, um, you can burn it, obviously safely. It's called a burning bowl ritual. And it's like releasing all those things to the universe. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take the top card on this because there's way too many. I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna watch this video, but give me one more, one more card. God source, universe. What do we need to let go of? during this full moon in Virgo. Ooh. Wow, okay. Alrighty, so the card that popped up initially, again, can't make this ish up, is health. What did I say, guys? Physical health. Focus on the body. Virgo is all about the physical, excuse me, uh, the physical body. Allow me, divine, to be tender and accepting of my body no matter what ailments I may have. May I always know it's doing the best that it can. Help me be a loving ally and friend to this sacred form. Guys, appreciate your body, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys, and this has been like an ongoing theme um, for since January, actually. 
it's like you just expect your body to like get up and like do what you want it to do. Um, and it does, but you don't honor it. Like you don't give it the time it needs to rest. You're not feeding it properly. You know, you're, you're voluntarily choosing to eat and do things with and to your body that are perpetuating um, like an unhealthy state. I like borderline, like you guys are gonna have some serious health issues down the road if you don't take this seriously. Um, not, I don't know what it will be, but it may have something to do with like your hormones, your sacral chakra or throat. Um, throat chakra, uh, as far as the physical body, governs the thyroid and parathyroid. So your thyroid plays a very big role in your home, like hormone production regulation, um, your metabolism. Um, your parathyroid converts vitamin D from the inactive form to the active form. So the inactive is D2, which you'll see in like fortified things like um, almond milk, for example. They're all fortified, most of them are fortified with D2. But your body, so your parathyroid has to convert that D2 to D3. Or when you're um, absorbing sunlight, your parathyroid comes into play and converts the D2 to D3. That's the active form, okay? Most of you guys, or some of you guys probably have seen the supplement vitamin D3. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are vitamin D deficient. You may not know it though. Um, that could be like the hormone issue because vitamin D plays two roles in your body. It's a vitamin and a steroidal hormone, so it does play a hormonal role but vitamin D is integral in hormone production and regulation. So I feel like some of you need to get on like vitamin D. Um, I would say minimum 2000 IU to get you started um, and get your blood work done if you haven't recently. Like within the last three months, I would get it checked for sure. I feel like a lot of you guys are having like super low vitamin D levels and that could lead to like very bad PMS, really bad bloating, poor digestion, brain fog, um, really dry skin. Um, uh, you could have like really stiff joints, um, almost like arthritic, but without having the diagnosis of arthritis. So yeah, guys, get your vitamin D levels checked for sure. All right, next card is solitude, all green. Heart chakra, guys, I feel like this is gonna be heart chakra. Um, once you embrace the inner divine and your own sacred solitude, the right people arrive at the right time, exactly on schedule without forcing or chasing. So guys, this is giving me like heart and sacral chakra, the inner divine. Um, that makes me think of the, I'm getting the feeling of divine feminine. I'm still seeing like color orange. Um, so embracing your creativity, embracing, um, you know, who you are. Okay, I feel like there's like an in like an inauthenticity air about you guys. Like you're afraid to be who you are, you're afraid to show your true self, like your true funny, like funky, just like unique self, okay? And it's time to stop doing that. Um, also, uh, if the right people are not in your life, what did I say? Like, I feel like there's a female figure in your life that you thought or you think is supportive of you, but they're really not. Um, the right people, the supportive people, they will show up for you. Like, don't try to control it. Okay. Um, as I say that four 55 on the clock, um, four is all about stability and foundations and five is all about big positive changes happening in your life. Um, so it could be shifts in relationships that you guys are having because this is a green card. So to me, it's very heart chakra. Um, but yeah, and also embracing your inner divinity. Like you are a sovereign being. You are fucking unique and glorious the way you are. And people will see that once you embrace it. All right, and the last card for what we need to release during the full moon in Virgo, um, work. I'm now available to receive all who can benefit from my work. Use me to relieve suffering on the planet. May all who need me find me. The divine is my complete source for all prosperity and will provide. So I feel like a lot of you guys watching me are healers um, or you're in a job that makes people feel good about themselves. Like you could be a makeup artist, a hairstylist, um, a masseuse, a doctor. Um, I'm hearing real estate agent. My fiance is a real estate agent. Um, a nutritionist, um, a tarot card reader, 
um, a psychic, a medium, like you're in a line of work that helps people, um, but it's almost like you're worried about your business not being profitable. So instead of putting your energy toward worrying about something that is not here yet, um, or something you don't need to worry about now, give those fears, insecurities, anxieties to God, source, universe, whatever resonates with you. Um, because if you, so funny, this says chasing. Don't chase what you want, attract it. That's what it's about. And that's what this is saying. Do what you're, do what you're passionate about. Okay. Follow your passion. This is also saying too, like if you take care of, if you take care of your body, if you put the work into healing your body, you're going to set an example for other people. Okay. They're going to see what you're doing. It may even be the people that weren't supporting you in, in the first place. You may inspire them. I feel like you guys are going to inspire a lot of people through your own journey, but also through the line of work that you do also. But you got, you, this is like saying like you, you have to do the work with your health. Like this is, this is a solo journey. This is something that you have to do or if you choose to do it, it's going to be something that you do on your own. It's not like stop leaning on other people. Like don't look to other people for support. Don't, um, like to do it for you almost. I don't want to say don't look for support, but don't look for other people to do what you need to do on your own. Okay. And no more external validation. You don't need it. Okay. Everything is within. Okay. The strength is within for you to make these changes. Okay. And last but not least, I am going to pull from my Healing Essential Oil deck to see what herbs and essential oils would be helpful during the full moon. I forgot. Okay, so God's Earth Universe, what essential oils? Wow. Very fast. I love this deck. Okay. Awesome. Very cool. So. We have, oh my gosh, I am going <laughs> to, I am just going to brutalize this name. Helichrysum, Helichrysum, beautiful yellow flower. Okay, um, also uh, solar plexus vibes, you guys. Um, yellow flowers, maybe you guys might be getting sunflowers or maybe you're seeing dandelions. I feel like it's early for that, but maybe wherever you're living, you're seeing dandelions. Um, you may be wanting to bring sunflowers in your house. Anyway, um, so this card says, uh, uh encourages forgiveness and promotes longevity. So again, um, I feel like you guys are forgiving yourself for how you've treated your body for so long um, and promotes longevity. So again, this is like a uh, longevity of the body. Um, yeah, it's like emotional, emo sorry, not emotional. Actually, no, physical and emotional longevity, okay? Physical longevity in like your health, like thriving health. Um, emotional longevity, meaning like everything that you're releasing that you're going to release it and you're going to maintain like emotional balance for the long term. Okay. Next is turmeric. One of my favorites, one of the best anti-inflammatory, uh, roots that you can either eat or put in, um, your diffuser or you there's so many turmeric teas there's so much research backing this herb as far as anti-inflammatory um i think i said yep i did uh earlier on you guys if you're vitamin d deficient you might be feeling like stiff in your muscles stiff in your joints maybe you are arth arthritic or you have like osteopenia or osteoporosis osteopenia is the precursor to osteoporosis which is reversible osteoporosis is not um but turmeric rebuilds body, mind, and spirit, okay? So because it is a root, um, it's great for root chakra, so dispelling any fears, anxieties, worries, making you feel more stable. I feel like I saw that. Yeah, stability, okay? Um, and it's also orange. What did I say, you guys? Orange sacral chakra. So this is really great for sacral chakra as well. And last but not least is black pepper. I mean, the peppercorns are actually green when they grow, but black pepper, you guys get it. Um, 
I don't think they make this in, a, in an essential oil. You guys can let me know in the comments if they do. Um, but you can put it in your food. That's totally fine. Um, and actually, uh, some teas with turmeric add black a little black pepper or uh, pepperine, which is um, an extract from black pepper, because it actually enhances the absorption of turmeric. Okay, these are synergistic herbs. They work really well together in the body. Okay, um, but black pepper protects and promotes honesty. What did I say? Virgo governs the throat chakra. So you guys are gonna be speaking up, maybe to these people who haven't been supported. You're going to be honest with yourself. That, you know what, that is it. You're gonna be honest with yourself and you are gonna stay true to yourself and have a high level of integrity for yourself, which will transcend to other people, your other relationships in your life, okay? I feel like you've been really dishonest with yourself, like this unhealthy road that you've been going down and it's time to accept the truth and maintain that truth. All right, so guys, that was uh, your reading for the full moon in Virgo, which is on February 27th. Um, if it resonated, please let me know in the comments. I love to read your comments and questions. Um, if you feel called, you can also make a donation through my PayPal, Cash App, or buy me a coffee. I truly appre appreciate the energy exchange. I do all these readings for free for you guys. Um, and again, I am open for one-on-one -on -one personal readings. So again, you can email me at the holistic siren at gmail.com. And I wish you guys a very happy full moon and I hope you have an amazing day and I love you so, so much.